All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started here, and I'll, I'll circle back. You know, a lot of you guys, I'm looking at the people that are on this call already. A couple of you guys already have tickets. This is really for people that don't have tickets that are looking for information. All right, first and foremost, this is our second event. Okay, we did the one in Chicago, and it was a four-hour deal. It was a networking event. It was over brunch at the Trump Tower, and everybody had a blast, and there was electricity in that room. Okay, high demand after that event was to continue doing something under 2,000% raise. Hey, listen, man, we got to make this bigger. It can't just be these one-off events with, you know, and then that's, and that's it. So as, as a function of that event, I started the 2,000% raise membership. All right, everybody that was an attendee at that event got an annual um, annual membership to 2,000% raise, okay? Um, the, the, the membership includes group Zoom calls at least once a month. Um, our uh, uh, video series, which by the way, any members on here, if you haven't listened to the No 2, the W2 video series, it's it's good shit. You can then also upgrade to the one about the entrepreneurial journey that really gives gems of different things that I've you know picked up over the years. And that one's excellent. Not nearly as many people have seen that one because it's an upcharge, you know, because I need your money. Um, but we also have a telegram channel that I broadcast on pretty regularly. I don't do it like a discord where it's like a phone buzzing all day, bzz, 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 but members will message me separately and give me content or I just put my own shit on there. And again, members are encouraged to do that. If some of you members, we have about 150 or maybe 130 or so people in the group right now and about only about 80 on the telegram. So there's about 50 of you that, uh, either don't want to download it or, uh, or, uh, don't, don't know how. I think everybody knows how to download Telegram. It's an app, everybody. It's an app, okay? Uh, discounted admission to, to, to networking events. To give you a frame of reference, all right? Our Las Vegas event for members is we came out with early bird pricing only for members. It was 60% off retail, okay? Now it's 50% off, all right? If you're a member, okay, Jack is my tech guy. Jack Cohn, do me a favor. Send all of our members an email right now, whether or not they're on this call or not, and just send them the link to Vegas. Say per John's request from the Zoom call, put the link to Ve to uh, Vegas, um, and uh, remind them what the member um, promo code is that it gets them fifty percent off. Okay, guys. All right. If you're not a member, okay, it's twenty five percent off now, but it's not going to stay that way. All right, we're we're over halfway sold out already, guys. And um, I made a couple deals early on that were pretty, <laughs> for a little lucrative, I think, for some of you motherfuckers. You know who you are. Um, but uh, I, I need to charge close to retail value as as it gets to the final people coming on this thing. So at this moment, non-member pricing is twenty five percent off. Okay, and. Um, and the promo code is 25%, 25-P-E-R-C-E-N-T, 25% with the non-member pricing. It gets you the annual membership as well as admission to the event. And, um, you know, it, it's worth it. Now, little secret, if you want to go buy a membership and pay it monthly, it's $50 a month, Okay. Any of you guys, and I'm not going to give this roadmap to uh, beating the system out pretty regularly, but what you could do right now is turn around, go buy the $50 a month membership, and then turn around and get member pricing. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold your breath on that and do it in you know days from now because it's it's more than likely going to be. I'm probably going to if the event itself isn't sold out, I'm probably going to pull back. On, on those discounts on the promo codes because like I said I just have too much to to subsidize you know and and I, everyone just so you understand dude my per person cost before I even put in labor before I even put in a lot of the AV equipment and other shit is like five, it's over 500 bucks a half J just an FYI for everybody here this is going to be a nice fucking event okay <clears throat> Um, also want to mention that there is a diamond package. I'm going to run, I'm going to run into this right now, but the, uh, of the event itself, but there is a diamond package. It's, we, we still have two spots open for that. It's $6,000. Here's some of the highlights. You can bring your significant other or a business partner that's included in the $5,995. 
Um, you come in early on Wednesday, October 10th. We have a one-on-one -on -one meeting. We go over all the attendees of the event, what you want to accomplish at the event. We meet by ourselves and um, kind of come up with a game plan of who you want to be introduced to, who you want to spend time with, um, things of that nature over, over the next two days. And I make sure that happens. You also get featured on our podcast if, if you want, if you don't want to and want to you know, promote your brand or a company, that's fine as, as well on the 2000% raise show at, at a future date. Um, Wednesday night, we're going to have a very nice dinner planned. Um, just envision a very nice steakhouse or seafood place in a private room uh, hosted by myself, the other people that paid for the diamond package as well as a couple special guests guests that are usually um, either panelists or speakers or just people in my network that are more high profile in nature. And you'll get a lot, a lot of face time with them as well. Again, a spouse or a significant other um, or a business partner is, is welcome to come to that. On a Thursday, the event on Thursday technically doesn't start till late afternoon, but at 10 a.m., um, everybody in the diamond package will be taking either, it depends how many of us there end up being, we're going to take a limo or one of those spr sprinter buses out to Summerland, uh, Nevada, which is about a 20 minute drive. Maybe have a little champagne on the way out there. And, um, I'm, we're going to do a tour of the High Line. It's a 300 unit, uh, development and Josh Childress, who I'm going to be talking about in a little bit later, has been in the NBA for, he's an NBA superstar, has been around for 15 years. Um, he was one of the first dudes that uh, left left the NBA to go play overseas when he was making a lot of money in the NBA. One of the first people that started that trend of kind of the bidding between international and, and, and national players. He was also a superstar at Stanford back in the day, big big Afro if you remember him. But he owns a he has a black owned real estate company that's doing huge huge things right now, and they did this um and they did this uh, Highline um, apartment complex pr project in Summerlin, and uh, he's going to give us a behind the scenes tour of the complex, give you some of the tricks of the trade he he has known in terms of um, popularizing the place, making it giving it the cool factor, and also how he raised money for a development like that. I personally am in some cool deals with Josh. That's how I got into the Via Hotel, the Newport Beach Marriott. So um, I could tell you this, I, my network is going to become your network for the for the people that pay for that diamond package. So that's just one of the perks in addition to the other things, the other things that I already talked about. OK, a little bit more to the diamond package than just that. But hit me up if you're interested. Um, we only have two spots open. If 10 of you guys message me saying you want the diamond package and that I'm not doing it, it's got to be. An elite, an elite amount. Totally understand, guys. If this was not on your radar screen, it's fucking six grand. I get it. Don't feel bad um, because the rest of the experience is VIP. Everybody else is at the same level for everything else I'm going to talk about. And it's truly going to be a fucking VIP experience. Okay. Again, for those of you guys just calling in, why? Because W2 employees don't get rich. This 2000% raise merchandise line is out. Go to 2000percentraise.com, see the new brand of the website, press merch, and use members, or excuse me, use, uh, yeah, member, member 25 for 25% off. Limited time only. Classic, classic, okay? All right. Let's talk about the bre the breakdown of the event itself. I've shared a lot of this on, on previous calls. Now I'm going to talk more uh, specifically about, um, about what we're actually doing, what the itinerary looks like. Um, I'm not going to bring up the sponsors on this call. We don't have enough people. Uh, we have a good amount of people on this call, but I'm not going to go on all the sponsors right now. Um, all right. Again, ticket price includes includes the VIP experience. Okay. So everyone's going to be treated VIP. Um, we have blocked room rates. Now, everybody listen closely. Blocked room rates at the Palazzo. If you've never stayed at the Palazzo, they're all suites. They're all luxurious. Okay. The blocked room rate, I believe, was around 380 bucks ish for Thursday night and Friday night. If you stay through Sunday or Saturday, it, it goes up. It's still cheaper than what you're going to get online, okay? So 380 Guys, listen, I'm going to tell you right now, go stay at New York, New York, or Bally's, or somewhere else if you want to save a couple hundred bucks. And you don't have to stay at the Palazzo, but you want to go through our link. Uh, Jack Cohn is um, my tech guy. He has that link. He has sent you an email. After you buy the ticket, he sends you an email with that link. And I can tell you right now, we got more people, <laughs> more people coming that are state than that have used that link. So I'm a little bit worried about that. I don't know where everyone's staying at, 
Um, I, I'm, I'm thinking a lot of you guys missed the email from, from, from Jack. So please check that out. Okay. Um, it's, it's a good, it's a good fucking deal and it keeps us all at the plaza, uh, um, you know, which, which is great. All right. So the event itself on Thursday, October 12th is at the plaza and the Venetian they're connected. Everybody's going to be getting a swag bag with over a thousand dollars in retail gifts. Um, really kind of happy. It's kind of fun what we're doing with that too. I think everybody will like it. Um, between 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. on, on uh, Thursday, October 12th, up in my suite, if you've been watching my Instagram closely over the months, you could see that I stay at a penthouse in the um, in the Palazzo. Uh, you, you, gotta, you, you can't get that penthouse, okay? You got to be a high roller to get that shit. I think they might rent it out for corporate events here and there or whatever, but it's it's not something that's generally just available to Go get online. You can't go on Expedia and get this motherfucker. Okay. It's fucking cool. It's overlooking the city. It's way up there. So from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., I'm going to be hosting um, hosting up there. Uh, we're going to do small groups. You know, we'll, we'll see what our final head count is, but we'll probably do 90 minute intervals because I want everybody to feel like they're part of this deal and everybody to have one on one time with, with, with um, some influential people that are going to be there. Um, myself. And Dom, the hypnotist. Yes, that's right. Dominique, the hypnotist. If you listen to my podcast with him, you will know that he is a very popular corporate trainer. People pay him fucking $50,000 to come speak at their fucking companies and train on the the uh, power of the mind in, in business and in sales. And Dom is going to be hosting this up uh this with me up in the penthouse along with a couple of my other panelists and maybe a couple special guests that uh i'm not going to overcommit right now to but um, i think everybody will be happy with it in addition one of our sponsors telson tequila which is a brand out of las vegas they're going to be doing a tequila tasting in the room so you know, figure come up for an hour, hour and a half, be it, have a little bit of fun, maybe get hypnotized. <laughs> but it's also going to give me a chance to meet all you guys individually. I, I, I'm really big on this event, guys. The Chicago one was awesome, but there were some of you guys that came that I didn't have the time to really freaking connect with. So, um, you know, picture maybe 10 to 20 people in that in that suite at, at a time. It's a big fucking suite, so that's not a lot, but we got a pool table. It'd be fucking fun tequila tasting and uh, also dom will be there as well as, as as well as a few of our high profile people so there's gonna be intervals on that that's that you'll be assigned once we get going um and then we're gonna break at 7 p.m um go gamble go eat dinner on your own do whatever the fuck you want then at 9 p.m that evening all right 9 p.m that evening i have a lounge slash bar restaurant reserved from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. That's going to be our official welcome reception where everybody comes together, okay? So all the people that you, you've already met in, in the meet and greets in my room, in those smaller groups, now we're all going to be coming together. Um, significant others, everybody, is, are invited to this stuff, okay? I think it's a lot of fun. It's in Vegas. Bring your significant other if you want to. By no means do, do, do you have to, okay? Um, and that's going to be in the Venetian. I have a... Uh, Hey, let, let me just tell everybody something, okay? C curating this fucking thing is not is not easy. Yes, I got some uh, people that help me out over here, but like it's convention season in Vegas right now, okay? So getting lounges and spots to like just be us, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. Okay, if we're gonna put it this way. Well, John, that's kind of cool. It's an open bar. Uh, you know what the minimum we have to spend is? Uh, better have it be fucking open bar. I'm gonna like be pouring fucking tequila on my fucking head and hey, give me some Mr. Spage. I shouldn't do that. Um, just kidding. Don't do Ace of Spades. That then we will definitely hit the minimum. But anything else, all right? Um, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. And that's in the Venetian. Guys, we're gonna wrap up at 11 p.m. Fucking time for bed, guys. Time for bed. I don't want to be waking up for breakfast the next morning and fucking see, you know. Kevin's on from fucking Miami on the fucking craps table. Kevin, come on. We got this event you came all the way out here for, buddy. Let's go. Um, just kidding, Kevin. Uh, so let me see here. Yep. So we wrap up at 11 p.m. No doubt it's going to be a fucking fun night. All the speakers and all the panelists that I'm about to announce are going to be at these events. This is networking, educating, collaborating, everything all together we're, we're we're all kind of a one one here okay a lot of the speakers are just attendees too as, as you'll see when i get to that um the next day friday october 13th 
I'm gonna let everybody sleep because I know some of you motherfuckers are gonna be playing roulette till four, four till four in the morning. All right. Uh Friday, October 13th, we gotta move over to the Trump Tower. Okay. And people are gonna start th to think I have an, an infatuation with the Trump because that's where my other event was in, in Chicago. And uh, it, it's not true. Trump just had the most beautiful space for our size group, okay? It's a big ass meeting room and then connected to another room that's more for like lounge, bar, like cool table set up and that kind of thing. And what we're gonna do is have a back and forth throughout, throughout the day of, of the two. So it's gonna be from 9.30 a.m. Till 6 p.m. Eat, eat breakfast before you come. Um, but uh it, it's gonna it's gonna be a cool event. All right. Um, um then the 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 format is from 9 30 till noon. We're gonna have speakers, networking, and content. Okay. And when I say networking, anyone that was at the Chicago event, between speakers, you you feel that energy, right? You know, people are talking to each other, people are switching tables, ha having that camaraderie. It's my job to curate a good room, man. And that includes you guys too. Okay. It's not just my speakers. It's the attendees. It's everybody. All right. And that's exactly what's going to happen at this event. Okay. So, so you guys are all going to have time together um, in, in between speakers. It's it's going to be, if you liked what happened in Chicago, this is going to be so much, so much better done. I'm, I'm just really excited about it. I had no confidence going into the Chicago. I had confidence, but eh, let's see how this goes. Now I know how it's going to go. Fucking let's go, motherfucker. All right? Literally. Motivation, education, fucking collaboration, networkation. Um, from noon to 1.30, we're having a high-end luncheon, plated luncheon. It's going to be a cool fucking setup. Um, and, uh, yeah, it'll you know, plenty of time to be merry, okay? From 1.30 to 4, we're going to go back then to speakers, networking, and content. And this might change like slightly a little bit, but it's about what it is. And then the plan is from either four to six or four thirty to six, we're going to end it with um, an, an open bar right there at the Trump as well with appetizers and, and networking. Guys, I personally am staying at least until Sunday. So after the event, anybody staying at the Palazzo? Shit, we'll, let's see how it goes. It's not going to normally be part of the event, but. Hey, it's on Saturday. The fucking Notre Dame game's on. I'm going to be down here. Anyone want to join me? Or, you know, maybe I'll get a cabana by the pool or whatever. By no means is that part of the event. But um, the idea behind this is that we all get to know each other pretty well. Okay. So, again, Thursday, we start at the Palazzo. We end at the Venetian. They're connected. Um, Friday, we, uh, okay, Thursday is, is the meet and greet in my room, the tequila tasting in my room. Uh, hosted by me and Dom, the hypnotist. You guys are going to love Dom, too, by the way. Um, and uh, ending the night with a cocktail reception, a welcome reception where really everybody gets together that's going to have appetizers and open bar from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., past hors d'oeuvres. And then Friday, October 13th, is in the Trump. We're going to have speakers and networking, high-end luncheon, speakers and networking. And then we're going to end it with, with uh, a, a, an open bar. I, I got to tell you, the thing that broke my heart maybe the most was when we were in Chicago, there was people that paid extra to go to the luncheon in Chicago over at Volare. It's probably a couple of handfuls of people that paid extra to go to that thing. And we had to go. The Trump event ended at 12. And we were fucking 100, 190 degrees that day, too. So I felt bad for some of you guys. I felt bad for myself. Uh, we walked over there and had a great luncheon and stuff. But, you know, it, it kind of felt like, oh, gosh, everybody's still here. And it's like you had to kind of disconnect everybody. Not making that mistake twice. Not making that mistake twice. We're, we're all in this together. Everyone's going to get up, walk eight feet that way. Here's the open bar. You know what I mean? And, and uh, that'll end when it ends. I'm saying that we're going to have two hours, 6 p.m., whatever. You know, wherever the night takes everybody after that. Um, again, I think a lot of people are staying at the Palazzo. So there's going to be plenty of opportunities for, for um, continued networking. Okay. Um, I'm going to pause briefly here before I get into this sheet here which is my my big one here, with, to announce the speakers, what I promised. A couple of quick announcements, 2000percentraise.com backslash, or I don't even know what that should I should go to 2000percentraise.com and click the merchandise thing, selling these shirts, all right? I keep forgetting the promo code. 25%, or no, I'm sorry, member 25, it's 25% off, member 25. I'm gonna see people wrap if you get one of these things. Obviously tag me on Instagram if you wear it. I, uh, I'm going to kind of come out with new ones of these things every so often. I'm trying to price them affordably. I'm doing print on demand, guys. I'm not going to carry a whole freaking inventory of these. So the per unit cost is maybe 
you know, a little bit higher than what you want. Man, nah, maybe for this quality, it's not even that high. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> also, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to release this now. Every, everybody listen. Okay. 2000percentraise.com backslash events or just go to 2000percentraise.com and click Vegas event. And what you're going to see there is um, is the breakdown of the event that I just talked about, as well as the speakers I'm about to talk about. But you click through the promo code, 25%, 25-P-E-R-C-E-N-T. Okay, if you're a non-member, that gets you in for 25% off, and it includes an annual membership into 2,000% raise. All right. If you want to save another 500 bucks and become a member, do it now before I pull this deal off. Go buy a membership for 50 bucks a month, 50 bucks a month, and then you're going to get 50% off and save another 500 bucks. Okay. That's not going to be there forever, though. My blocked room rates at the Palazzo, everybody. The blocked room rates at the Palazzo, September 12th is the last day. I know that's six days away. What the fuck, John? The fuck, dude? Ain't my fucking idea, dude. That's how it fucking works. Okay. I fucking learned this shit my fucking self. I'm like, motherfucker, I need about 80 rooms. They're like, 80 fucking rooms. What the fucking people you have, motherfucker? I go, 80, bitch. That's what I want. Nah, I really actually want 60. I don't know why I asked for 80. <laughs> they said, yeah, so it didn't fucking matter. It doesn't really matter how many of them we take or don't take. It's the same damn price. But here's how why they could do that. Because they fucking released the block after September 12th. It's a month early. So the block disappears, and now it's a supply and demand thing with the regular rates. We're locked into our rates now until September 12th. After that, it's a free-for-all, okay? And again, it's convention season. Shit sells out there, I'm being told, all right? As far as venues are concerned, I can tell you right now, it's almost next to impossible for me to find venues. That's why we're at the Trump, which I'm actually very happy with. But, but dude, forget, forget about it. Try to get a smaller room like this in the Venetian. Probably laughed at me laughed at me I'm lucky to get the lounge that we got for our fucking 9 p.m to 11 p.m shit i go motherfuckers you guys want business i'm trying to bring maybe 100 people or 50 people or whatever the fuck i bring to your fucking bar at 9 p.m on a thursday do you guys want business i'll sign this and here's your fucking minimum and rah, 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 rah. i'm like well guess everyone's drinking a lot that night motherfuckers i'm just saying i'm just saying the rooms might sell out that's all i'm suggesting okay all right, let's go over. And also, uh, people that just jumped on late, the diamond package is fucking awesome. Um, got some really cool things lined up with that. Only have two spots left. Hit me up on that if you want to be in it. All right, here's the speakers in no particular order. First of all, Dom the Hypnotist. I already talked about Dom. He's uh, he's my man. Let me um, actually pull something up here that I could read off of. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to just kind of mark these off as, as I go here. And, and guys, here's the damn thing, okay? I have speakers talking about different things. It's not just necessarily the speaker itself. It's what the topic is. I'm in charge here of curating a room with the right people as well as the right content. And I feel pretty fucking good that I've, that I've done a good job with this. All right, I, I, I really fucking do. And I look at some of the attendees that are coming that aren't, you know, quote unquote speakers or panelists, and they're just going to be adding, adding to the power of this room. I'm pretty pumped up about it. I, I truly am. Let me look at my Q&A before I jump into this here. Kristen, Ryan, you're cracking me up. Um, here we go. Dom the Hypnotist, I already talked about. He's going to be talking about mind over matter and visualizing things and actually why hypnosis and how you could self-teach yourself to to, to do some shit go go watch go listen to my podcast with them and uh and 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 it'll be it'll be a little bit more clear austin cone austin cone spoke at our last one he's a very cerebral dude man and he he came he came to the last one um as as a founder who worked at wheels up which was a aviation company that ipo'd good for him he has a company right now called flexit that, that's fucking doing very well right now but i'm i invited him in, into this event in the capacity 
of, of being a um, professor at Columbia University, the, the Columbia University that's that's in the Ivy League, not the one in fucking, not the art school, all right? And um, he, uh, he, he's, he teaches an MBA, um, an entrepreneurship program there. And I was just so impressed with Austin and, and the shit he gets into in his, um, in his, uh, in his content in general. He's a very cerebral guy and he's not only a teacher, but he's also lived it too. Um, he's going to get into the importance of choosing a founder or excuse me, choosing a co-founder. So many of us start businesses or we have a business and we say, okay, fuck, okay, what's that next step look like for us? Should we have a partner as we do this? Even though I'm the one who founded it, bringing a co-founder on and what the considerations should be and, and the pros and cons. And uh, I already sat through that presentation. It's, it's fucking good. Um, now we're going to go to kind of the other, the other side of the spectrum. Not, not, not that Vinny is a, is a, uh, not, not that Vinny's not a cerebral guy or the opposite of cerebral, but but Vinny is a professional axe thrower. Yes, a professional axe thrower. And he's currently in negotiations for the, their league to be featured on ESPN. And axe throwing guys on, on ESPN, like what, what the fuck are you talking about? They're doing it for cornhole now. They're doing it for the motherfucking hot dog eating contest, okay? So, of course, axe throwing should be. And Vinny's on the forefront of those conversations. He's nationally ranked. He Additionally, he owns axe throwing facilities, one in Augusta, Georgia. Uh, they have the Master of Axes right after the Masters Golf Tournament. I mean, that's a big thing about it. It's funny. But he's gonna he's an entrepreneur that, that's not only going to speak to that, he's going to speak to how all these axe throwing facilities emerged during COVID. We call it the, the pandemic pivot and uh, talk quite a bit about what he's learned in the hospitality industry. So I, I know he's going to be a good guest. That's why I asked him. Oh, um, my got Cole Warner coming. Cole Warner started Moneyline app. It's a gambling app, obviously, but he's going to talk about raising venture and, and what that looked like. But but the real reason I wanted to invite him is we need a little bit of Las Vegas flair at this thing, right? And he's going to get into the state law differences between fantasy football gambling and regular sports gambling and how the law looks at those two things very, very fucking differently and how he's been kind of, he doesn't like it when I use this word, but maybe manipulate that system a little bit to, um, to take advantage of the easier loopholes to get quite a bit of penetration in the marketplace. So pretty happy Cole's there. He's just a good dude to have around. Younger guy, younger entrepreneur. And I got to tell you, I, I like having these younger folks like Cole there because one of the things that I've been learning ever since really the 2000% Raise uh, podcast, as well as my Instagram has really taken on a life of its own, is um, us 40-somethings 40, us 40 -somethings could learn just as much as the from the 20-somethings as we're learning from them, or excuse me, as they're learning from us, okay? And, and it, 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 as I move in this journey, it becomes more and more fucking clear now some of this shit is okay i learned what not to do because i see them a little bit reckless down there but there's other things like oh, shit is that how the world works right now so I, i'm really looking forward to having a, a couple of my speakers are, are generationally different than my generation and um i gotta tell you there, there's a method to the madness and there's a reason behind it okay um <clears throat> Herman Bucci, he's an ex-pro uh, an ex -pro baseball player and owns a logistics company in California. He's an entrepreneur, but he's also an ins inspirational uh, speaker, having him come in because he's just been a great friend of the program. He's been around and uh, he, he has a really, really good message that I really I think every entrepreneur should hear. Um, John Orlando, the famous John Orlando, or actually you might know his name or maybe some of our parents know his father. Tony Orlando, the singer. Anyway, John Orlando has become a good friend over the years, and he has a network called Podcast Junkies, and he's a pretty good, uh, a good entrepreneur himself out there, and he has some really good stories to share. So he'll be speaking on that. TJ Kalazi is the CEO and founder of Life Brand. Um, CEO, the, the they've raised uh, just they just finished a round raising thirty million dollars. They're at a quarter billion dollar valuation quarter say it with me B with a <laughs> that's a that's an inside instagram joke I, I don't like it when people say with a b but quarter B billion dollar valuation he's in an artificial intelligence all right and guess what his job was before and this is the best thing he said to me all right john you talk about a two thousand percent raise i gave myself a two million percent raise 
I was working at a gym, a gym before. Now he was executive level at that gym. He self-deprecates with that. It wasn't like the fucking towel boy. But, you know, he's a, he's a smart dude. And he's going to talk about how he's built this company with artificial intelligence, really by not even being a tech guy. I think you'll be impressed with what, with what TJ has to say. Jamie Warwick, um, she is a very successful realtor in Orange County and uh, Los Angeles. And she's going she's gonna to do a presentation about competing in saturated spaces. I've seen Jamie speak. She gets to the point. She's just a very, very dynamic person and a very dynamic speaker. And how you differentiate yourself in a pretty crowded space, especially a space like real estate where everything becomes commoditized. All right. I, I wish I had the volume on, so, or I wish I had the videos on so I could see everyone's reactions. Billy McFarland from, from the Fire Festival. And those, those that are wondering and scratching their heads why, why I do so much with Billy, you know, I got to curate a good room, guys. Billy's a smart guy, super smart guy, and he's got a story to tell. I'm not, I'm not telling people to come here and sign the dotted line with him and, uh, you know, invest in his company or anything like that. But you listen to his story, and there's not only things that, that he could tell you for the future. It's, it's stuff that he's learned from his past. And then anybody that heard him speak at the Chicago event knows exactly who I'm talking about. Um, he shows a lot of vulnerability, and, um, and he really enjoys this. He really enjoys being a part of things. So I'm excited that Billy's going to be joining us again at this. Denise McDermott, MD. She's a psychologist. She's going to talk about mindset and competitive edge for business owners. All right. Um, Denise has spoken in front of very large groups before. She actually presented before the Dalai Lama once. I mean, <laughs> just do a fucking presentation on that. Talk about the presentation about the presentation before the Dalai Lama. Fuck. Denise is awesome. Um, she has a show called The Dr. Denise Show. Also, as the founder of Ascension Media, um, uh, Orange or Los Angeles person, it's pretty cool. Yeah, Sean Mike Kelly. He is. I don't want to miss anything here. Sean sold his marketing agency, and you know, remember earlier when I talked about the younger people learning from the older people, and us older folks could learn from the younger folks just the same. You know, Sean sold a marketing agency called called NFT Gorillas. They they were doing the marketing for for McLaren, for Tops, the trading cards. You know, us forty somethings know what Tops are. They're still still fucking around. You know what I mean? Um, during the pandemic, it sold over fifteen million fifteen million dollars of PPE. Fucking nuts. He also has a company right now called Jersey Champs, and he's gotten jerseys in the hands of Donald Trump, Mark Cuban, Jordan Belfort. You know, ask any younger people and, and, and look him up on, on, on Instagram if you're not familiar with him. He has a very popular cod, podcast for, for entrepreneurs called Digital Social Hour. Um, and Sean has over 10 million followers. I mean, this guy has made some waves um, I'm out there. He's only 26 years old, too. He's only 26 years old. I'll give you an idea here of what, what Sean looks like. It's like a baby. He's a baby. And then side by side with, with uh, Sean there, I got... My man, Josh Childress. He told me not to use that picture because he said, John, I'm a business guy now. I'm not small forward anymore. And then I go, Josh, it's okay. It's okay, buddy. If I put you in a suit on here, buddy, no one's gonna no one's gonna recognize you with a suit because he cut his hair too. So I'm like, no, buddy, we, we gotta use this picture. Um, Josh Childress started Lance by our group and you know, a, a, a couple things about Josh that, that I didn't mention already, okay? Josh and me have met through our networks colliding, okay? He was friends with some people. I was friends with some people, blah, 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 blah. He brings me on in on the Via Newport Beach Hotel. Josh has a very, very successful, he's only, I think he's like 40 now, but he was still playing basketball up until about three years ago, okay? And, and the reason I know that is because he asked me to play a pickup game. And I'm like, yeah, me and my buddy Preston could go play some pickup games with Josh. And and we looked him up and like, dude, he's just fucking retired like a year and a half ago. I have to play with him, break a fucking neck. Um, but um, he, um, anybody that knows the big private equity firm TPG, Josh has got it in the space with the right people, and it's really the king of um, being in the right, just being in the right rooms. I would say I was going to say the king of networking, but I, I don't, I don't even like to say that because it almost seems like I'm like. 
taking away something from that person if I say that, right? You know, he, he just does a really good job of doing everything right. He, he was that NBA player that never, you know, was never caught, you know, cheating on his wife. An NBA player that was never getting arrested. You know what I mean? He was that guy. And, you know, I was just with Matt Barnes, the, the former Laker that has a big podcast right now a couple of weeks ago. And I told him I knew Josh. Oh, Josh. Like he's got the respect of his, you know, bad boy kinds of peers out there in the NBA as, as an overall a great dude. So Josh is going to have a hell of a lot to offer. Um, the reason I brought up TPG is because there's this movement in the private equity space right now. Um, it was really a function of kind of what was happening in society, in my in my opinion, um, a few years ago. But there, there was more a push for more diversity in, in, in private equity. And TPG has a program called TPG Next, where they were looking for women-owned founders um um minority uh different races of, of founders and um lgbtq founders and everything else like that and you know they weren't going to stick some bozo either, either though so jack had a, or excuse me um josh had a black owned um real estate firm that's again been involved in some big deals including the 300 uh unit um high line in um right outside of las vegas and uh he got involved in that so there's just so many different avenues josh is able to talk about him being 15 years in the nba him going overseas being the sixth best sixth best sixth man in the, in the nba and saying fuck you nba i'm going overseas because that's where, that's where more money's at for him right now it took some balls to do so this is a lot he could offer so he's going to be at the event he's a dear friend of mine pretty pumped up about that got a couple other people Got some questions coming in here, huh, guys? Got a couple other people that are on the radar to be a part of this, too, guys. Um, and uh, totally agree. Well, incredible. Yeah, thank you, guys. Yeah, John, uh, you know, it, it's um, I would say, as far as the high profile people are concerned, probably Josh, Sean, Kel Sean Kelly. And Billy McFarland would be the most high profile, each each for different reasons. You know, one of the things I learned, guys, at, at, on the event in Chicago was me personally being there. Like, most of you guys follow me on, on Instagram. And I'm going to do a better job of this event of, like, fucking, you're here for this fucking reason. I'm the one who invited you. You guys came because I invited you, right? So I'm going to have some really good fucking content coming out of coming out of this mouth too. Okay. So really looking forward to that. But you know, as I look at this group guys, there's not one, there's not one bad one. I'm going to tell you right fucking now. There's, there, there, there's, there's not, there's not one bad one. And we're going to sprinkle the people in in different capacities. Like two of them might be up there at the same time as panelists. We're doing some Q and a from the crowd. Um, some people might just be doing their own 15 or 20 minute presentation. Um, there's going to be different, different ways we're going to line this damn thing up, but you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident in the damn thing. And, you know, the, the way I have the thing set up to guys, I, like if we don't sell another ticket, that room I have with the tickets already sold is we're good. <laughs> we're good. So I don't feel any pressure. Yeah. From an ego standpoint, I want to be like, Hey, we sold out, you know, and, and I encourage everybody to, you know, come, come be a part of this damn thing. And if you haven't had a ticket yet, but we're really at the end of the fucking day. You know, this room's already pretty fucking tight. Ain't gonna, ain't gonna motherfucking lie. Okay. Um, all right. Shoot me any questions if anyone has any. I, I think I answered most of the ones that were pumped up as we went here. Again, 2,000%. You know what, guys? Also, I'm going to tell you right now, I just as I'm glancing on this thing, Jamie Warwick and TJ keep jumping off. The, every, everyone I have here is, is fucking good. Everyone I have is going to be good for different fucking reasons. But um, I'm really looking forward to Jamie's presentation. I'm competing in saturated spaces because it's not just about real estate. It could really apply to any industry. Um, and, and TJ's story about building life brand, it's its almost fucked up. <laughs> it's, it's like literally almost fucked up how he did this shit. Okay. Like fucking nuts. Okay. So that's about it. Anybody that's bought tickets, hey, please post that you're going on, on your story. Fucking tag me on it. You know, do whatever. If you want to send a link to 2000percentraisecom backslash events, it always help, helps me out. Really fucking I'm looking forward to this, guys. It's 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 gonna be a great event. Um, you know, 
Start off with some tequila in the suite with uh with Dom the hypnotist. And by the way, guys, I, you know me and Dom are are the hosts of that tequila tasting, as well as the the gentleman Josh from um, Josh Belfover Belfover from um, Telson Tequila is going to be there with with people from his staff administering the tequila tasting too. It's it's just going to be an overall overall good experience. Okay, two thousand percent raise dot com. Here's the damn shirt. Uh, promo code. 25%, 25-P-E-R-C-E-N-T, 25% promo code gets you 25% off the ticket price, okay? Members, if you haven't bought a ticket yet, look at your email inbox right now. You're going to see an email from Jack Cohn, who's on my team over here, and it will um, it will have what your member code is that brings you down, brings you down to less than, or it's right around 999 bucks, Okay. Awesome, everybody. Thank you. Look forward to seeing everybody in a few weeks or four weeks-ish. Remember, book your damn rooms at Palazzo if you haven't yet. Thanks, everybody.